Old Fast Marines videos are sponsored in part by Total Boat. If you would like to support the channel, please subscribe and follow the link to our Patreon account. Thank you. Hey everybody, Will from Hofast Marine, your local boat shop. I do not have my lapel mic in, but I'm in the quiet section of the shop. And my student is in the other room here, and he is sanding down uh, the canoe to lay some epoxy in. Um, and I'm going to take you guys in there for just a brief minute. Um, and then uh, I got to charge my phone. We'll set up a tripod shot, uh, the time lapse, and yeah, you guys can kind of watch how that goes. So, here we go. All right, well, here we have uh, my student, Mike. Uh, Mike is a certified diver, and he instructs diving, which is pretty awesome. And what Mike's doing is he's going through, and he is uh, sanding down this hull on the opposite side of the, the holes with a you know 40-grit festival sandpaper and getting the entire surface scuffed and ready for epoxy. Um, quick little time lapse here. Uh, this took about 45 minutes or so to get this all sanded and prepped and ready to go. Um, while Mike's sanding, I am getting the, the bench ready to lay out some fiberglass and, you know, do the, uh, the glass layups. And we're cleaning this whole thing with the Total Boat surface prep and de-waxer. So, uh, in this clip, uh, I keep saying so, what the hell? Mike is putting plastic, uh, over these holes and he's going to place it over the hole and get it nice and tight and because, you know, well, tight holes are good and he is right now I'm showing him that it's okay to overlap the next piece the next uh, crack and then he's just gonna simply tape off those edges of the plastic and then run the blue plastic or the blue tape excuse me right over the top of that to give it a little bit of structure because when we put the fiberglass on the other side we don't want that to push through you know and make kind of a you know a sag because uh, sagging is also bad. Mike is now just pretty much finishing up the uh, the taping, and this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's pretty rigid and a good surface for the fiberglass to uh, push up against. And what Mike's doing here, this is a six ounce mat. Uh, provided uh, to me by Megan over at Total Boat. Thank you again, Megan. Uh, Megan also sent us all the epoxy that you saw in the first video. And what Mike's doing here is he's just kind of going about a half an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch, uh, away from the, the hole. And this is going to be, you know, patch one. And then there'll be a larger piece placed, you know, over the top of this. So Mike is now, he has his, his two patches. And he's gonna, you know, pre-wet these out. Six ounce mat is a real pain in the neck to pre-wet out. It, it likes, as you saw right there, it really likes to stretch as you're trying to, to lay it out. Um, so I pretty much told him, you know, pour it over it and let's get it a little, you know, on the, on the wet side and then we'll just lay it up and add more fiberglass resin. Mike is first gonna wet the whole area out a little bit with the Total Boat 2 to 1 epoxy. Of course, we could have used polyfair, uh, excuse me, polyester resin on this. Well, it would have been just fine, but we chose epoxy. And here he is placing the, the patch on. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we kind of ran out of this batch, so we had to stop and quickly run into the other shop and uh, mix up another you know, I think we did four patches was about 10 pumps of the resin and of course 10 of the, the hardener. It's been a couple days. Um, the last portion that you saw was filmed um, on Saturday. Uh, today is Monday. And uh, the epoxy dried great, as expected from Total Boat. Now I am going to remove the masking on this side and you guys are going to get to watch me do that. Isn't that fun? Let's see how we did. Um, I'm, I have no doubts that this is going to come off uh, perfectly. Never hit the trash can. 
The plan right now is to get the thickened epoxy mixed up. I'm waiting on the silica because I just ordered it. Uh, that I did pay for that with my own money because I feel like a ski is asking total boat for stuff all the time. But that being said, when that arrives, what we're going to do, we're going to come over all of this after it's been sanded down. We're going to come over all of this with thickened epoxy. This is pretty low. Uh, same thing right here. That's going to get some thickened epoxy. And it's going to be a kind of an all-in-one. We're going to get it all done uh, with the thickened epoxy and then putting glass down all at the same time. So it all kind of bonds together and I don't have to do as much sanding. As far as this video goes, I think we're going to call it a wrap there. I can't really do much more other than to uh, during this week before uh, student comes back is to get the hull sanded and, and ready for fiberglass. And you guys don't need to see that because it's, it's boring and tedious. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, I implore you to please do so. Hit the bell notification, like and comment because I enjoy reading uh, comments when we get them. Please check out the uh, my Patreon page. I've had it for a while now. Check it out. It's got some cool stuff in there. You get t-shirts and hats and all kinds of good stuff for helping out this channel that you're watching. So with that being said, everybody, I got nothing else for you. All right, I got one more thing for you. Epoxy. How long does it last? This is some Total Boat epoxy that I got a year and a half ago. I mixed up a little batch to try on this canoe and it just it just didn't it just didn't work um, it, it stayed pretty tacky um, so remember that your total boat products have a shelf life they have a shelf life don't forget that we'll see you guys next time